Hey everybody, it's Marcus here with GoodEReader.com and today I'm going to give you an overview of some of the new enhancements in the latest firmware update for the Kobo Touch. This is version 1.9.6 and incidentally Kobo has also updated their desktop manager. For those of you that have never updated your Kobo Touch via firmware update, it's pretty simple. You just fire up the desktop manager program by Kobo. It will run an update and then when you plug in your Kobo Touch to your computer, it will give you a prompt to load in the new update on your e-reader. Once the update's done, you unplug it. After about two minutes, it'll reboot your device and you'll have the new firmware upgrades. In the new Kobo Touch firmware, you'll be able to share passages and awards with your friends on Facebook. You'll be able to enter text for dictionary search in all supported book formats. And you'll be able to also do the same with EPUB books. You'll also be able to utilize some new advanced font type controls found within EPUBs. And you'll be able to actually share your awards now with your friends on Facebook and various other reading life enhancements. So what we're going to do is fire up a book that came with our e-reader. And what we're going to do is just like tap the middle of the screen to bring up the font controls and hit the fonts. Okay, some of the things that were found in this latest update was the way that fonts are controlled now. You have a little arrow here that allows you to scroll down. So in a latest firmware update, the one before this one, you actually can load in your own fonts now. So with the fonts being able to be uploaded to your unit, so I can upload basically any font that I want. So I got Times New Roman here, which is incidentally is not a font that comes with your device. But they have a little down arrow here now that allows you to navigate things a little bit more effectively. You also have some new settings here, such as your dictionary. Okay, so let's look at some of the dictionary-based functions. So I'm going to highlight the word man. And with the Kobo Touch, you can select more than one word. So I'm going to hit the dictionary button here. Okay, so it gives you the dictionary definition of the word man. And what else I want to do now is there's a new option here to send a quote to Facebook. So there's a little Facebook logo here. So you can simply click on that and you can post it to your wall. I'm going to click post. There you go. With this update also you can highlight words. One of the things that make that useful is when you sideload in your own ebooks and again sideloading is the process of loading in your own books via Windows Explorer, Calibre, Adobe Digital Editions and so on. So I can highlight words. I can also look them up in the dictionary as well. So I can look words up in the dictionary for books that I uploaded to my device. But the one sort of drawback with this new uh, firmware update is I cannot share Facebook status updates with books I loaded into the device myself. So not the not the best but if you want to uh, configure your Facebook account you go into your settings menu and then you click account and you can configure your Facebook login here so I'm logged in as our good e-reader Facebook account so you can uh, follow us on Facebook okay so another kind of cool thing is a new extras here and you can actually load in Kobo Sketch. 
so you can draw within this program here all right it's a accurate rendition of, of how I look minus I have more teeth more hair I actually have ears I do have eyebrows and my mouth really isn't that big but other than that it's a complete accurate portrayal you can save this so it saved it as pictures1.jpg you can access the pictures by plugging in your device to your computer and doing it via Windows Explorer you can also kind of a cool little thing is go to your awards now in reading life I can click on an award that I have here and I can actually send this award to Facebook by clicking on this Facebook icon here. I can actually look at some other awards that I have here. And you can send them all to Facebook. So this is basically just an overview of some of the new firmware updates. You can also see here on my main screen I have the picture that I can drew, I can click on it and it fires it up. Very interesting. So if you have not seen the C-Reader before, we have done extensive reviews on it and you can check those out on our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash user slash goodereader or you can check everything else out on our blog at goodereader.com slash blog. Every day we write between 6 and 10 articles. We cover everything in the realm of digital publishing, ebooks, e-readers, tablet PCs and a whole lot more so you can join in on fun and check out the blog. You can also check out our podcast that we do once or twice a week along with some of our other writers on staff are always uh, featured on our podcast so we're doing a new episode this Sunday so you can check out iTunes or our blog again goodyreader.com slash blog for goodyreader.com my name is Marcus and you have just watched a firmware update overview of the new 1.9.6 for the Kobo Touch see you later